Hello, I'm Nukunu, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Sometimes customers ask me how they can create a trust relationship between their on-premises domain and AWS directory service. I tell them that the advantage of having a trust relationship set up is that you can access services or resources across the trusting domain. Let me walk you through the process. To create a trust relationship, there are some prerequisites that must be met. You must have an AWS managed Microsoft AD created. You must be sure that your on-premises network can communicate with the Amazon VPC that contains the managed Active Directory domain. You also must make sure that Kerberos pre-authentication is enabled for both on-premises directories and AWS managed Active Directory domains. For this example, we'll establish a trust relationship with a domain controller that is hosted on Amazon EC2. At a minimum, the following ports must be open from your on-premises network to the sides of the two subnets that your AWS managed Microsoft AD resides in. TCP UDP 53 DNS, TCP UDP 88 Kerberos authentication, TCP UDP 389 LDAP, TCP 445 SMB. Note that these are the minimum ports that are needed to connect to the VPC to the on-premise directory. Your specific configuration might require additional ports to be open. You can also find this information in the Knowledge Center article that accompanies this video. To start, log in to your on-premises domain controller. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console. After you're logged into your on-premises domain controller, open DNX Manager. And if necessary, expand the DNS service. Right-click the Conditional Forwarders folder. Select New Conditional Forwarder. In the DNS domain field, enter the fully qualified domain name of the AWS Managed Microsoft AD domain. In the IP address section, enter the IP address of both the Managed AD controllers. I'm going to go back to the AWS Management Console to get this information. I'm going to go to the Directory Service Console. I'll select the Directory ID. Under DNS Address, I'll copy the first IP address. Now I'm back to my domain controller where I'll paste the first IP address. I'll go back to the AWS Management Console to grab the second IP address. When I'm back at the AWS Management Console, I'll copy the second IP address. I'm back to my domain controller and pasting the second IP address. Note that after entering the DNS addresses, you might get a timeout or unable to resolve error and see a red X next to the IP addresses. You can disregard these messages. Check the box next to store this conditional forwarder in Active Directory and replicate it as follows. Select the replication model you want for the conditional forwarder. Note that for this example, I replicate to all DNS servers in the domain. Click OK. Now open Server Manager and on the Tools menu, choose Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right click the domain name and choose Property. Choose the Trust tab. Select New Trust from the bottom of the window. Choose Next. Enter the name of the AWS Managed Microsoft AD in the Name field. Choose Next. Select Forest Trust and choose Next. Select the direction of the trust. For this example, I'll select a two-way and click Next. Select this domain only and choose Next. Select forest-wide authentication and choose Next. Specify a trust password you remember. You would need it when you set up the trust for your AWS Managed Microsoft AD. Choose Next. 
Choose Next and Next again. Select No. Do not confirm the outgoing trust and choose Next. Select No. Do not confirm the incoming trust and choose Next. Choose Finish. Now go to the AWS Management Console and open the Directory Service Console. Choose the directory ID of the directory that you want to establish the trust relationship with. Choose the Networking and Security tab below. In the Trust Relationship section, choose Actions and then select Add Trust Relationship. On the Add a Trust Relationship page, choose Forest Trust. Type the FQDN of your on-premises domain. Type the same trust password that you use when creating the trust on your on-premises domain. Specify the trust direction. In this example, we will choose two-way. In the conditional forwarder field, enter the IP address of your on-premises DNS server. In this example, I'll enter 10.2.104.10. Optionally, in case you have another on-premise DNS server, you can choose add another IP address to add a second IP address. Note that you can specify up to a total of four DNS servers. Click add to create the trust. The trust status changes for creating to verifying and then finally to verified. You might have to choose the refresh button on the right corner to view the current status. Within 30 seconds to three minutes, the status should change to verified. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.